This playthrough is rated T for teen. Well, just make sure not to get your boots wet, Max. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, we went to the sewers and to fight all manners of rats, clowns, and froggies. And now we're going to continue on. And we also found out why Max is journeying to lead the place, not just for adventure, but to answer some questions. For this four, to get, uh, it's called Battle of Rats. With uh, this one, we have to beat everything in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Probably not going to do that yet. we got a question mark and attack and defeat all enemies using only items. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do this the first time around. I'll have to come back later when we get to access to shops and stuff like that. And items are like bombs and gems and stuff like that. But either way, let's go into it. Yeah, most of the floors you're probably never going to fully max out the first time through. It's it's one of those go back later and do them. So that yeah, gives you a reason to replay through old levels outside of just you know, grinding for ABS and stuff like that, so. But all right, I finally got my weapons list out, so huh, guess what we're going to fight on this for a whole lot of, uh, so. Anyway, let's see what treasures we got inside. Ooh, are we off to a good start? What do we got here? We got a rock, I mean a hunk of copper. What does this do? Let's take a look. Yeah, Spectrumizer, it adds lightning. <laughs> lightning, real lightning! Alright, where are you, monster? There you are, froggy! Okay, so now that I have my weapons notes out, so I have to look for it, so give me just a second. I don't have, unfortunately, I don't own a, an alternate monitor to look up stuff on it, so I have to uh, use my phone for this. So, okay, so froggy is uh, in the underground ch channel in Palm Brinks, is considered an aquatic creature, has 26 HP, 6 attack, 0 defense, it drops 6 ABS, which is your experience for weapons. Uh, drop six Gilda uh, when it kills him, and you could possibly. Oh, nice. Um, if you kill it, it can drop, possibly drop Sea Dragon crystals or poison when you do that. So, very nice. Oh, and uh, uh, the most effective weapons on the Froggy are the sword item, which unfortunately I don't have. Every other weapon does uh, the standard damage. Um, it is very effective. Chill, will, chill will do a bit of damage to it. Uh, uh, lightning will do 150% damage to it. Cyclone will do 300 damage, and um, if you have the beast, if you have high beast, it'll do 150% extra damage to it. So anyway, we got flame crystal there. So yeah, there's a lot of little details now. People have because people play this game probably more than Dark Cloud One. There's a lot more details and notes about like enemy strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. And yeah, I felt I was lied to when a I got scraps of metal. When we fought a froggy here, we shouldn't be fighting a bunch of rats. Anyway, what do we get? We spectrumize it. Looks like lightning as well. Lightning! If we wanted to, anyway. So. Alright, we got bats. Eh, the classic enemy of classic enemy of any RPG is the standard bat. So, uh, whoops. Sue. Sorry about... Uh, I'll try to in the future maybe create my own list of uh, stuff and then just make a note that way i'm not like pausing it or at least not slowing down the action so okay bat they are beast enemies they got 22 hp six attack six or zero defense six abs six gilda they could drop holy water wind crystals and bundles of hay uh the wrench weirdly enough is actually weak or strong against or the weak is not very good against them you only do half damage with them but the gun does 150 damage if you have the a beam weapon which is spoilers for a future item um it does 150 percent damage grenades do 50% damage and magic does 120% so if Monica was here she'd be do a little bit extra damage um, the only uh, element that hurts them a lot is cyclone everything else is standard so you want to so you want to shoot bats which is makes sense all right now we got the sewer rat so unfortunately once again I have to pause it to do this but like I said when I do this the first time I only have to do it so many times and then after that we'll uh, be able to just go straight to the um, um, you know, fighting the creatures and everything like that. So, let's see. I'm getting a little bit better finding these really quickly. Anyway, Sewer Rat is a beast. You can find an underground waterway in Palm Brinks. It has 25 HP, 7 attack, 0 defense, 6 ABS drops, 6 skill to drop. It can also drop Hunter Crystals and Rolling Logs. Um, the sword is 120% effective. Um, and then, in terms of elements, it's uh, very susceptible at 200% damage to Flame. 150 damage to lightning and 200 damage if you have uh, sorry if you have um exorcism and oh sorry uh 200 damage you have a beast 
and um, 100 dam 150 damage if you have scale, weirdly enough. So that makes sense. But anyway, let's beat him with a wrench. Yeah, we found 100 crystal, nice. But I need, I need, uh, I need more cyclone stuff, please, please. I would like some cyclone stuff. Thank you. That ain't gonna happen. Nah. Of course, I was a little behind. And luckily, guarding against my attacks doesn't hurt my uh, weapon HP that much. Ooh, we got a new enemy here, the Balloon Baron. Oh boy, now I have to go all the way up to the top of this list. Although I almost got, I almost hit it on the first go. Whoops. Let's see, Balloon Baron. Oop. Come on, game. Don't do that to me. Let's see, Balloon Barons. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay, for some reason... Oh, there it is. Baron Balloon. Well, the guy, people who do the... Oh, it is Baron Balloon, isn't it? Huh. Uh, anyway, Underground uh, Way, Palm Brinks. It is a magical creature. It has 32 HP, 8 attack, 0 defense, 8 ABS drop, 9 gilded drop. It can also possibly drop Bomb Nuts. Bomb Nuts? And Wind Crystals. The wrench is 50% uh, effective, so... You want to use the gun, which does 170% damage. If they have beam weapon, it does 150. If you have the grenade weapon, it does 150% damage. And elemental, uh, flame does 150 points of damage. Lightning does 150. And that's it. But we don't have much in the way of elements. So we want to shoot this guy. So, Oops. Shoot him. Well, it makes sense. He's a balloon. So. Anyway, he drops a bomb nut. So can show off items later. So Now yeah, we'll... We'll wait to use the heal. Luckily, guns only use gun and magic only use usually use, end up using um, one HP per per thing. So, or yeah, one hit point per strike. So anyway, fine poison. Yep, and my uh, wrench went up a level again. Nice. So how? Unfortunately, without dropping the um, uh, yeah, still needs a bit more attack. But yeah, without dropping any smash items. Well, the I can spectrize. Well, uh, you can actually spectrize like uh, attack items and stuff like that in this game as well, as you can see there. Yeah, it's like bomb nuts drop flame, which makes sense, and poisons like lightning. But unfortunately, nothing here has smash. I don't believe. Oh yeah, you can actually spectrize even uh, like the repair bags and stuff like that. So the one benefit about that is that if you have access of stuff, kind of like I did in the first game, if you have so much of one thing, well. The game lets you, if you have enough synthesis points, to um, spectrumize anything, basically. Well, anything that you want to, anyway. Yeah, like Andrew does scale, Tasty Water does chill, but yeah, I need a uh, cyclone for the gun, but oh well. Four more smash for my uh, wrench. Wrench smash! Uh, more froggy. Oh, we get the clown enemy, so I can discuss that here in a second. Okay. All right, clown. You're gonna die, clown. Well, yes. We've all wanted to smack a clown in the face before, haven't you? Or is that just me? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm a very cruel individual, I guess. Anyway, clown is accessible in the underground channel in Palm Brinks. He is considered a darkling enemy. He has 30 HP. He has seven attack, zero defense, six ABS drops from him, six gil drop from him. He can drop bread, proc, proc, proc protector crystals, or sugar canes. Um, uh, the only weapon that does not a good damage is grenade, but we don't have that, so don't worry. And then flame, chill, and uh, flame and chill items or weapons use do 150% extra damage, and everything else is neutral on the clown. So take wrench damage, here we go. or we could use. Good for you. Aha! I get another bomb nut. Nice. Yeah, bo drops are a bit more uh, uh, plentiful in this. Um, game as opposed to the previous one. I thought, well, I thought drops were more frequent in this game. Oh, we got a bundle of hay. I got the map. On the map, on the map, on the map. Hey, we have a bunch of hay. What does it happen to this way? Ooh, could do that for the cyclone, but we do need bundle of hay for other things, too, so eh, that's a tough one. I'll hold on to it for now, just because I'd rather have something that actually gives me... Oh, hey, clown. Another clown. You're gonna die. Which but anyway, be? let's go yellow again. Very good. No! Here you are. Dang it. Well, I mean, I need Ando drinks, but I rather would have had the treasure key, you know. At least at this point in the game, anyway. Oh, well. Ooh. Almost forgot to repair my 
gun, so. Woo. Very good, very good. Alright, how's the. Oh man, I didn't get the drop. Although, usually you want to kill all the monsters the first time through a dungeon anyway, so. Obviously, later on, you don't have to worry about it too much, so. A lot of enemies uh, like getting shot. Oh, we got a couple of bundles of hay. Might be worth uh, spectrumizing them for, them for the gun then, so we can get Cyclone. Oh, there's the sewer rat down there on the bottom. Maybe I don't want to go down the bottom. Hello, what's this? A question mark? Let's find out what it is. I'm worried about. Well, I guess the game's expecting me to be uh, uh, poisoned a lot, which I wouldn't be surprised if. Might as well just uh, continue down this way see if there's anything there. Yeah, sorry if me putting the map in the middle of the thing messing you up, but I like having the map like right on me. So, oh, I don't know why the game explains multiple times about um, what the magic crystal does. We know what it does. You only had to tell us once. Or at least let us go through the notebook and uh, read up on what to do. Yeah, I don't know if I... I mean... It's, it's a tough thing. I almost don't like being told what to do multiple times, but then, like, what if you haven't played a game in forever and forgot some of it, so... I don't know. Shoot those bats. Another level for the gun. Oh, whoops. Should have just attacked them instead and charged them. Exactly. Alright. Oh, that's it for all the enemies there, so... Really? No one's dropping... What is it? The final I uh, weapon? You usually can get the item level, item level thing like before killing all of them. But I seem to be at a point where I have to kill all the enemies here to to do it. So, all right, clown, take this! Violence! This is what you get for trying to stab me. Jeez. Yeah, those game uh, clowns are pretty aggressive, man. They put clowns to shame. Oh, nice. Well, I was needing some more repair powder, so. Alright, and final creature of the sewer rat. And we get. Alright. That takes care of you guys. And as far as I'm aware of, I think there are some slightly different lines of dialogue in some places, but for the most part they say the same thing. But yeah, I don't know why you're telling me about like the key handle. I know about that. We just got told about it. Why do you have to keep telling me about it? I'm not actually that angry. It's just kind of funny when you when you know that the it's like the game's trying to handhold you or something like that. But I'll admit this game is, a, I guess technically it is easier than the previous game. But oh, we got a log too. Let's see what it says. Rolling log. Logs cut from only the strongest tree. Log. Log is better than bad. Oh, it does give us a smash item. That might be enough to for my wrench, maybe. I mean, we do want logs later on, but I do kind of want to... But then again, I still haven't got the attack item maxed out yet, so at this point, might as well hold off onto it until the attack gets to the point where I can upgrade the weapon, then I'll do it. How's the gun buildup going on? Just need some more cyclone. But we, like I said, we haven't gotten the attack up, so until the attack actually gets to a good point, I'm not going to worry about adding that stuff yet anyway. So, Yeah, no medals for that one because I didn't use items and stuff like that. Oh, well. All right, on to the next four. Ghost in the channel. Need to defeat all enemies in three minutes. The second objective is unknown, and attack defeats all enemies using Max's right-hand weapon, which means shoot everyone. Might be able to do that. Let's. The underground channel ran on ahead in front of me. And as I pressed on, heading deeper, for some reason, thoughts of you, Mother, filled my head. <laughs> I don't remember your face now, Mother, even though I must have seen it so often when I was small. It's like uh, Max has uh, some mommy issues here. How's it going? Made any progress? I've done a couple of dungeons already. Yeah, looks like I made it to the next floor. The further in you 
you go, the stronger the monsters are. Watch out! Oh, it's almost like it's almost like it's an RPG. What what a shock! I will. To defeat the stronger monsters, you'll need to strengthen your weapons. If you don't take care of your weapons, you'll run into trouble on the next floor. If you want to know more about combat, give me a buzz. I'll help you out whenever you want. Select help from the main menu and choose what you want to know about from the list. You're a great fighter, so you'll pick up on it in no time. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, be careful. How do you know he's a great fighter? He's a he's a he's a wrench, you know, a tech handy type of guy. Uh, like, how would you know he's a fighter? I mean, we survived this far, but you know what I mean. But yeah, this is what it is. Just it tells you like everything you need to do in the game, item descriptions, saving, and all that other stuff. And the other stuff becomes unlockable until uh, well, question mark until you actually run into a situation that requires it. But I mean, if you know pretty much how the previous game goes, then you know how all this goes. The only one that's new to this is the rage counter. Uh, you know what the red game. bit is above the monster's HP bar? It's called the rage counter, and each time you attack a monster, it decreases by one. If you don't defeat the monster before it runs out, the monster will go into rage mode. If that happens, the monster will get a lot stronger, so you'd better not attack it half-heartedly with a weak weapon. But yeah, that's the only thing I wanted to show off, because that's the pretty much the new um, thing in this game with monsters is that. So that's why you want to figure out their strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. So, Oh, sorry. Uh, the, uh, the gun is the left-handed. Okay, so... I'm just, I'm going to do that off screen, so, but yeah, I was like right-handed. I thought, for some reason, I thought his gun was on his right hand. I don't know why I thought that, so it's his wrench, so anyway, but yeah, it's basically a wrench only level, so, but yeah, for now, because we don't really have the, if my wrench was stronger or built up to the next level, then I would uh, do that, but no, nah, not right now. Oop, we got a new enemy here, the turtle. I don't think I'm turtly enough for the turtle club, don't you think? Yep, sorry. Looking up, finding the turtle item, or list here. Yeah, there's a lot more enemies in this game, so the, the list for enemy uh, stuff is a lot longer, so I have to uh, go through a bigger list to uh, find it. So, like I said, apologies. Like, next episode, I'll probably, or maybe in the future, I'll try to have something a bit more efficient. Like, just take all the enemies from each section and bundle them up together or something like that. Uh, anyway, turtle, underground... Uh, channel Palm Brinks is an aquatic creature, has 50 HP, has 7 attack, 2 defense, 6 ABS drop, 6 guild to drop. It can drop stones, protector crystals, and wind elements. Um, wrenches are effective at 150%, swords are weak at 50%, which we're not using that, but uh, the gun is weak at 30% damage. Uh, beam damage and grenade damage uh, do 150% damage, the other variations are neutral. And it is weak, particularly weak to lightning at 220% damage. And smash, if you have the smash element on your weapon, um, it, uh, depending on how high it is, it'll do 200 damage for that benefit. So, yeah, we, we definitely want to smash it with a hammer. Or, uh, oh, I should have blocked, actually. I don't know why I didn't block. I have a really bad habit of not blocking, you know. So, I really got to learn to do that. I don't know why I'm so bad about that. I really don't know why. I know it's a mechanic and it's one I need to pay attention to, but I, I just choose not to do it at the time. Anyway, we get three destruction crystal. I think th uh, I think this is really this thing I want for Smash. Yes. Aha. Well, let's see how much... Uh, let's see, what's my build up at now? So, Smash. Let's spectrumize one of them and see if that's enough. Yep, let's see if that's enough. I knew I was eventually going to get the crystal I needed for that. So let's see what the buildup is on that still. Nope. Need more smash. More smash. Rock, rock, rock. I don't actually... I'll have to look up later on like what the specific requirements are for each weapon because I believe the, the details for that are a bit more uh, well-known than, than the previous game. In the previous game, I had to really like look for... Um, the stats for weapon growth, like, I could almost never find him because no one ever talked about him. So, okay, so we got enough smash, so now we just need to keep our weapon level growth going, so. Alright. Very nice. Now we just need some cyclone uh, uh, treasures, and we'll be good to go, so. Now, 
right, what do we got here? Ah, oh, more destruction crystals. Excellent. Alright, smack this guy a couple of times before. Man. Before he starts doing that rolling attack. So, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I wish I'd. I, I need to, like I said, I just need to remember to block him off. So. Ooh, we got a channel key. So, oh, I forgot to mention the previous area because I just, I kind of glossed over it, but that question mark, what that was is it's, um, just like in the previous game, uh, some levels have back end areas, so um, you need a special item for that. In this case, it's the channel key. Oop, we got a new enemy here, Night Stalker. Wait, like that one video game for the Sega CD that was actually overly hyped for what it was when it actually wasn't that bad? Uh, you know, ask your parents about that one. Uh, Night Stalkers. They're found in the underground channel in Palm Brinks. They are undead. They have 43 HP, 9 attack. Um, don't know what their defense is. I'm assuming it's like 0, but I don't know. At least the notice here doesn't say anything. They drop 8 ABS, 9 Gilda. They can drop um, holy water, flame crystals, and glass material. And they have an option here um, but uh, for something else, but since we can't do that option yet, I'm not going to mention it. But let's just say there's something extra we can do with these guys. Um, wrenches are not very effective at 80%. Swords, 80%. Gun, 80%. Uh, really, the, the only thing that's really they're effective against is magic. Um, guns do 80%. As, oh, wait, I mentioned that. And grenades do 80%. So, yeah, magic is the way to go with these guys. Um, flame does 150% damage. And if you have the exorcism stat, does 250, which makes sense. They're undead, so... So really, yeah, at this point, we're, we pretty much have no choice. We just have to hit him with something. So. Ow, no! Dang it. And I died. Wah, wah, wah. So this is what I get for not blocking, folks. So, All right, so I'll have to come back to this dungeon again. So uh, I'll see you when I've... Uh, actually, what's my what's my time at right now? So now we still got some time to finish the dungeon, so I'll be right back after that. So first death on screen, huh? Yay. All right, we're back on this floor, so yeah, I just had to go back to the old old files. So some items in my inventory are slightly different than before. Um, we got a thick hide by doing the previous level, uh, which gives us beast if we synthesize it. We also got holy water from one of the bats there. Um, you can equip it as a quick item to throw as a weapon, obviously. It lifts curses and causes heavy damage against that dead. Could you use it against that night stalker before it killed me? Or you could get exorcism if you want to uh, uh, spect uh, spectrumize it. We got the holy item for exorcism, um, and we got unknown bone. Can't guess what creature this will want to. Um, it also gives you exorcism if you uh, um, spectrumize it. Uh, sugar canes, super sweet. If you bite into it, gives you the flame, which is odd. But okay, so let's try to be a bit more careful this time, shall we? Ah <laughs> uh, man, I, didn't, I don't even think I ever died in the previous game too. So that's the first in, in the second game. So. But, uh, yeah, sometimes it happens to me. Sometimes I just make a mistake. And that's okay. I never did say that these were going to be perfect, efficient runs. And usually action RPGs are a different beast than, uh, than, uh, uh you know, st standard RPGs, you know. But, uh, yeah, I've always been better at st standard RPGs than action RPGs. But, uh, you know, that's fine. Get more bone. Bad to the bone. Da, 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 da. Ah, bad to the bone. Oh yeah, I was incorrect in the channel key being the question mark. Um, oh, 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 dang it. I was actually going to block and then I rolled. Oh. Um, the channel key isn't the, uh, doesn't open the question mark door. That's for, like in, in the previous game when you had certain just standard lot doors, not question mark doors, the channel key opens that. So anyway, we've got the water element. It's a geo Georama element. But if we spectrumize, we can get chill if we want to. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't want to spectrumize it, or at least for the most part. So, oh, got ourselves a Night Stalker there. You remind me of the Headless Horseman from the Disney cartoon uh, way back in the day. The uh, That was a good cartoon. Was it the... I forgot what the actual cartoon was called. I think it was called Ichabod Crane. I think it was all it was called, so... Very memorable. I don't know if they still show that. You probably have to like look it up nowadays, but definitely one of old Disney classics. Yeah. yeah, see now I learned to block in between between re, re coming back to this floor. I can be taught, uh, but we don't have a handle, so I can't do that. So, oh well. 
but we do have this whole huge map. Yeah, the levels are definitely larger in this game, but I think the overall floors and most of the dungeons is pretty is not as many, if I recall. That's the kind of the compromise between the two games in terms of. Yeah, that's the fight. That's the attack that got me the first time. So. Oh, and the breaking of weapons works a bit differently in this game than the first game. In the first game, you basically lost the weapon. In this case, um, you get all, all that happens is your weapon just doesn't do anything. Uh, it does, like, no damage when it breaks, so keep that in mind, too. You always want to have repair powders. But luckily, if your weapon does break, it's not the end of the world. You just can't use it until you heal it. So Now, obviously, if you don't have repair powder in your dungeon and you're still trying to fight enemies... Yeah, you're probably not gonna. You're probably gonna have to just call it, call it, and get out of there. You know. There you go. Come on down. You just gotta keep throwing fire up. You know. There we go. I mean, I could have shot you, but either way. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna shrink it. So. Yeah, no one wants to see see the big, huge map in front of the screen. Only weirdos like me like seeing it like that, so. Oops. I need to show off at some point me, like, picking up an enemy. I can do that to the clowns, for the most part. I think you can do it for most of them, but... Oops. What's in here? Antidote. I need to cure myself of poison that I don't have currently. Got a hunk of copper. I can make myself some uh, copper wiring. Get uh, you make some uh, you know utensils, I guess, or silver. I don't know. I got more bats here. I'm gonna decrease the rat population. That's for sure. Kind of reminds me of a scene from uh, King's Quest Seven. One of the villains, like, is uh, talking about hating creatures, which is supposed to be a clue on how to beat her later on. And uh, she says, I wish every bat, rat, and cat would explode at once. Oh, we got the valve handle earlier than expected. I always tended to get it, like, right when I fought the last dude. So, and I protect her crystal. All right, you got to roll on me. Roll wood, roll wood, roll wood, roll wood. Oh, whoops. Actually, uh broke my, uh, my, uh, block too soon, but, nope, nope. He's not even that hard of a creature, I'm just being stupid. There. Oh, the, the dreaded question mark. I don't know, man. Should I do it? Ah, you cheap turtle. Oh, well, that didn't work. Yeah, depending on, like, how you hold the directional pad, sometimes you'll, uh, charge um, or jump charge the uh, enemy right. or you might uh, you block or you might do like a flip or something like that so um, uh, should I because sometimes you'll get like something really nice but all right one more time come on dealer no way me no way me no way me no way me stop oh come on oh what the oh thanks game I appreciate that oh thanks I appreciate uh, like I said I appreciate it all right, how's uh? Okay, not too far away. I do like the fact that the game gives you two different sound of musics depending on if you've beaten all the bosses or not, or beaten all the creatures or not. So I like it. See, like I said, this game uh, might have some problems I have with it, but overall, I find it a much more uh, improved experience over the first game. And I did like the first game, but it had its own issues too. So that's what you do with a sequel: you improve on. The original game, but keeping some of the core qualities that people liked about it in the first place. So, but there's so much more dungeon to go, so much more you know sewage to clean out from between my toes. What do we find at the end of this place? What more memories will Max uh, have of his? Uh, uh, family and his mother before this is all over. Find out next time in the next episode of Dark Cloud 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.